empty hallways and silent common rooms. With residential gyms and fitness areas closed, it's the new reality for students living at Monash residential campuses during COVID-19. Despite the lack of access to facilities, rental prices remain stable. Considering the really huge restrictions we have on, our, on accessing our amenities that are covered in our rent, um, I don't think we're getting our money's worth there. Students have taken to Facebook page Monash Stalker Space to list their concerns. More than 300 have followed a campaign advocating for rent reduction, better communication about residential policies and fairer reimbursement for residential advisors. You know what, we are paying a lot of money for it and we want our voices to be heard. While hoping for a rent reduction, students are not expecting to receive one. In terms of the legitimacy of their actions, of their advocacy, I'd say it's 100% legitimate. I mean, no one else is standing up for them. With residents' representative body ResCom, funded by MRS itself, students feel it is incapable of addressing their concerns. ResCom is structurally incapable. The MSA is unwilling. MRS has informed us that they have incurred considerable expenditure by way of increased security, cleaning and staffing costs due to COVID-19. And this is in addition to an approximately $400 million of loss across the university. While we recognise that MRS currently lacks the financial resources to provide rental relief, we do firmly believe that residents should not have to bear the brunt of this shortfall. Rental rates at Monash campuses increased by less than 3% from 2019 to 2020. All student residents were offered an opportunity on March 23 to cancel their leases without financial penalty. Housing Society has also offered to set up a payment plan for any students with outstanding fees and has temporarily waived the late payment surcharge. I don't know if we're going to see a reduction in it purely because I think Monash might have lost too much money this year to allow that. Another thing is that the communication between MRS's students has been really quite negative and really there's not been much of it. In June, the residential organisation provided all residents with a free $100 FPOS prepaid gift card to be spent at participating campus retailers. Monash University will continue to provide services such as extended online activities, a residential support team, free flu vaccinations and increased sanitation for all MRS residents. Laura McFadson, Mojo News.